Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. My name is Ayo Amigo. I'll be your tutor for today. And our topic today is National Population Census. Before we go on, we'll look at a few objectives that we'll be looking at in today's class, which are 1. The meaning of population and population census. 2. The main purpose of the census. 3. What are the type of census? 4. The reason why population census is important. 5. Who uses census data? 6. How do you control a population? Those are the few six objectives we'll be looking at today. Alright, what is population? Population is the number of people living in a given territory or country at a particular time. A study of population is called demographic study. So, what is census? Census is a process of collecting, compiling, evaluating, analyzing, and disseminating demographic, economic, and social data pertaining to all persons in a country at a specified time. Alright, we'll look at main purpose of population census. We are meant to know that a census aims to count the entire population of a country and at the locations where each person usually lives. The census asks questions of people in homes and group living situations, including how many people live or stay in each home, and the sex, age, and race of each person. We have two main types of population census, which are the factor population census and the jury population census. On the de facto population census, this involves the counting of only those who are present when the census is performed, while the jury population census talks about counting of only people who have been permanent residents of a specific area but they were not necessarily present when the census was performed. So. We we'll look at the reason why population census is important. We have seven reasons here, but there are still many more reasons. But we'll just highlight just these few seven reasons, which are one, policy planning, two, fertility and mortality. On this, it helps us to know the rate of birth rate, and on the mortality, it helps us to know the rate of death in the country. 3. It reveals composting of the com population by age. 4. Dependency ratio. 5. Nationality and ethnicity. 6. Migration trends. 7. Sex ratio and disabilities. So, who are those people that use or which institute use census data? Accurate census data makes for better planning and implementation of a variety of programs, including education and training, health services, education itself, and social services. Accurate census data helps public health officials perform tasks such as locating areas in danger of groundwater contamination and waterborne diseases. So, how to control a population? There are so many ways of controlling population, but we just highlight just eight points here for our class today, which are one, ensure development, two, eradicate poverty, four, woman empowerment, four, spread awareness, five, good medical facilities, six, standard education system, 7. Providing incentives and 8. Delayed marriage. Those are the 8 way of controlling a population. So in summary, we've been able to know what national population is all about, ranging from its meaning to types, reasons why population is important and how to control it. But before we go, I'd like to leave you with these few assignments. One. What is national population census? Two, what are the type of census we have? And the last one, 
When was the last population census conducted in Nigeria? Thank you very much. See you now in this class.